You're not going to want to miss this episode of the AI Show where Minsu takes us through the responsible AI dashboard and scorecard in Azure Machine Learning. Make sure you tune in. Hello and welcome to this episode of the AI Show. I've got a special guest, Minsu, who's going to take us through the responsible AI dashboard and scorecard in Azure Machine Learning. Minsu, it's so good to see you again after you've helped me, you know, in, in the in the keynote. I had to help you, Seth. It I was, needed a lot of help. You needed a lot of help, yeah. That is true. And just a reminder, we built this really cool GPT-2 model that built some heroic marketing text. We wanted to gate it. I handcrafted some data and we built a model, but the, it turns out that the model was super biased. Minsu, tell us, how did we fix that? Well, once you had your model, we ran some responsible AI insights on it and saw some things that we really needed to fix in order to improve the model, both in making sure that it's allocating opportunity to all dev developers you know, equally, and also making sure that you're taking into consideration other things when developing your model. So I'm yeah. guessing this process starts once you have the model. What happens Correct. after that? Yeah, so let's you know dive right in. But just to preface it, we are actually providing three sets of ways to create your responsible AI insights. So the first set of way is actually a code first experience with a CLI. You can create a YAML um, configuration file that you can you know with one line of CLI uh, create a pipeline job and run your responsible AI insights to get your dashboard. We also have the corresponding SDK experience for that. And then finally, the third way is a totally no code, just from the Azure Machine Learning Studio UI end-to-end -end guided wizard experience. So let's start get started with the SDK experience. Let's do it. Let me bring up your screen. So this is actually built on the exciting new announcement of the SDK V2 of Azure Machine Learning's um, Python experience. So what you have essentially is you have the training pipeline, you've already configured it, you have your data sets, you've already run that, then you've registered the model. Then you have all these different components that are going to be able to, you can put them together, customize them to generate a responsible AI dashboard with your insights. So for instance, we have you know, the registered model that we're getting for you. Then we have a constructor, an explanation, all of these RAI components, and then we gather them together. A great visual way of seeing this is actually something like this, where you have you know, the model here, and then you have your you know, training and test data set. You pull it all together into the constructor. Then from the constructor, you can specify which components that you want. Uh, maybe you just want error analysis. Maybe you just want explanations. Uh, anyway, you're able to create all of those components and plug them in and gather them up into this one gather component to generate your responsible AI dashboard. Interesting. So, so basically, th that SDK stuff that you were doing creates this pipeline with all of those components together. Exactly. So, in the SDK, for instance, we have here the REI constructor component. That's gonna you can specify the title, what the task type is, regression, because we have a linear regressor, the, the categorical column names, what's the target value, and then this would be an example of an explanation component. So, for instance. You can either add a comment and you know you would have your output for causal you would specify which treatment features you care about treatment features are the things that are the levers right you want to understand the causal effects of those treatment features on your outcome which in our case is the score interesting and so this is the sdk way you mentioned there was a there was a different way Exactly. So once you are able to, you know, set off the SDK, CLI, and also the UI, you can come back always to your model details page in order to view all of your responsible AI insights. And that is where we've located the create responsible AI dashboard wizard. So uh -huh. if you go into your model that you've trained, you can actually create the responsible AI insights right here. Um, takes you through this really nice uh, guided UI experience. You just specify your data sets, 
you specify what modeling task type you have. In our instance, it's a regression. Essentially, it's just doing all the things that you know you were doing in code, but really streamlined in a no-code fashion experience for people who you know just want to see specific things about you know create their response AI dashboard without having to get their hands dirty with like SDK, Python code, and the CLI. So in our instance, we want to use the model debugging, but we can also click into real-life interventions to see causal. Um, to see the causal analysis component. And essentially here, after you click into that, you specify what your target feature was for your model and you can see all the different com components that are available. So we have your error analysis here, you have your counterfactual what if examples here, you have your explanation here. And so here, this is where you specify everything in the code, but right in the UI. So for instance, I'm gonna you know, say style and location, I wanna generate heat map for that or the counterfactual examples, I want to have 10 counterfactuals per data point and have them all be between seven and 10. That's the range where we accepted the programmers, right? So then once you specify those, then you just you know configure your experiment and you click create. So that's awesome. So the boxes from the step before are the same components that you specified in code or in in the ui right right so then once you hit create it's going to take you to your job you know your experiment and it'll let you know when you know your job is done and so let's hop right into the responsible ai dashboard so, so once... this is the output of of the entire process this is what yeah. this is what the output is of this entire job exactly got it and you can actually see it if you go back to your model details view you can see it right here in the responsible ai you know, tab, and you can see multiple dashboards because you're able to configure and they're so flexible, you can create any amount of dashboards for your model. And that's going to really help with maybe auditing, um, compliance reviews, and you can view these for any of your registered models. So that's if you true. click into one of these, that is what takes you into here. Uh, so what are we looking at here? So we're looking at all of our awesome tools on a single pane of glass. There's a lot to see here. Um, but just to start, I'll tell you about one of the awesome features we have, which is an integrated compute resource. So here we have one of my compute resources in the workspace running. And that's because the responsible AI you know, dashboard is really a dynamic um, visualization dashboard that is showing you some metrics and some visualizations that are calculated on the fly. So for instance, I could retrain this tree based on different features. For example, if I just want to see like everything but your, you know, the errors on your operating system. But one of the coolest things that I think about this dashboard is this component, error analysis. It gives you this great visualization, a tree-like view that shows you the prediction path to the cohort with that's the worst performing, right? So where, where does your error distribution lie across your data set? What is, you know, where, what are the underrepresented cohorts that are showing you the most amount of errors? So actually, you know, as you click between these different ones, uh, you can actually see different insights on those. For instance, mm -hmm. we can actually see the temporary cohort here and all, in all the other components are changed when we are dynamically changing, you know, between nodes of this error tree. And that's why it has attached compute because these are these are calculated dynamically. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. And for instance, the counterfactual examples, if you are creating a counterfactual example, then what you're doing essentially is you're taking all of these examples that we've created for you, right? That's what the counterfactual examples did. But at the end of the day, you can actually just create your own. So if you wanted to have someone who had years of experience be 25 instead of 14, you can see a new prediction value generated right here for any of the features that you perturb for this reference data point. So it really helps you to like drill in and dig deep into maybe like Seth uh, scored a five. I really wanna know how to get him to a seven. Mm. So yeah. That's that's really, really cool. And, and, and this is all just from running that job and those all those components together on that model, you get all of this. 
Exactly. Yeah, you get the error analysis, you can get a model overview of your performance and also your fairness metrics, your disparity metrics, which is how your you know, cohorts are actually performing relative to each other in a maybe sensitive uh, feature. You can also see imbalances in your data. We see a lot of people um, are from Antarctica, like very skewed. And uh -oh. you can also see the, yeah, and you can see like the explanations for why your model made such a prediction. Um, and your counterfactual that we just went over as well as causal analysis, which is gonna tell you what are the causal effects of your treatment features that you specified on your outcome. Right, like how do I optimize my outcome? And that really helps you make real life interventions and policies for business decision makers. That's really cool. It feels like you've told us everything. Is there, I mean, am I missing anything else? Is there anything else? Yes, there's one more thing. There's what? the responsible error scorecard. So for instance, if you are doing a compliance review or you're doing an audit and you want to share you know, your model and your model development with different stakeholders, you definitely want to have your responsible AI insights um, kind of compiled and summarized in a way that is really easy to share. So for instance, you're going to be able to also say, click on one of your responsible AI dashboards and be able to generate a scorecard for it. And then this is the scorecard that you would see. You would see the summary, the target values that you would use your domain expertise to be able to say, my threshold is I want, you know, I want every you know, mean square error to be below two. And if it's not below two, then I want you to you know, say it does not meet the target. So I'm able to see this really nice summary PDF that you're able to just download from the UI and the studio UI and share with a variety of stakeholders, both technical and non-technical. This is so cool. And I feel like we need to have you back on to just drill into some of these components a little bit more. Every time I have you or Manoush on, it's like information overload, o yeah. overload. Sorry about that. Uh, where can people go to find out more about this stuff? Yeah. So alongside all of these awesome things, which were public previewed at Build, we have awesome documentation outlining what is responsible AI, an overview of what that even means, how are you going to implement it, and the you know demo that we actually reviewed today. The sample notebook is also available for anyone to view and run, and there's also a lot of information about how to get started and how to generate these things on your own. So all of those information is out there. Please take a look. And we're looking so forward to everyone being able to use these tools to implement their machine learning and development more responsibly. Well, Minsu, this has been amazing. We'll have to have you on again so we can go into each component in a detailed manner. Thank you so much for being with us. We've been learning all about the Responsible AI Dashboard and Scorecard in Azure Machine Learning. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.